This morning, I would like to add uh, some people to our prayer list. Um, we have Carl, who is at home, not feeling well. We want to add him to the list today. We have Stephen Montgomery, who seems to have picked up a temperature and some kind of a virus. And he's not back there with Ron this morning, but in bed at this moment. Do we have any other prayer requests that we may not have on our regular prayer list? Any other prayer requests for today? Okay. Let us quiet our hearts so that we can come to our Lord and Savior with our concerns, our dreams, our hopes, our fears. Let us pray. Dearest Lord, we know when we truly listen that you are the only answer for us. We know when we are afraid that you are our only hope. We know when we are lost, you are the good shepherd who will find us. We know when we hurt, you are the only one that can heal us. Lord, be with us, mold us, change us, make us into soil that is receptive to you. Let us be your children, your people, ready to walk, live, give, and transform our lives for you. Fill us with your spirit, with your love, so that we may make the impossible happen, so that people will see you in us and ask what the difference is, so that we may know the joy of feeling secure and peaceful in a world that is not peaceful, so that we may feel spiritually fed when others are hungry. But Lord, we have to take it one more step we ask you to help us help them. Let us see, let us hear, let us do your will. Give us the vision and the purpose to know who we are and why you created us. Lord, this morning we have time of prayer for people who are ill, those who are shut in, those who are hurting, we say their names to you, Lord, and lift them up. Gloria Clapper, Doris Wenger, Helen Davis, Gottfried and Ruth Lehman, Donna Hillman, Gertrude Kennedy, Wilda Motz, Scott Owens, Nancy Kinzinger, Corrine Allen, Steve Poole, Tara Emmerich, Judy Mark, Karen Ellis, Virginia Tolston, Margie Amstutz, Shirley Douglas, Carl, Stephen. Be with each and every one of them, Lord, even though they are not here in this sanctuary. You are with them, and we know that. We ask you to be with those in our congregation who are traveling. Give them safe travels and safe journey home. We ask you to be with this congregation as we move forward into the future following your vision. We ask you to be with God's team as they plan the direction for this church and the many things that will be happening in the coming months. The events, the special programming for children, the new youth group that's starting, in the fall, the music program, the Sunday school program, all of these things, Lord, they're yours and we want them to be yours completely. Fill us with your spirit, your love, your conviction, so that we, with your power and glory, can bring light to the world and hope to those who are hopeless. Lord, 2,000 years ago, you shared with your disciples the way we are to pray. You taught them just as you taught us. And now together, as your children, we say the words, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the glory and the power forever. Amen.